All right, so we're gonna be doing a maiden of Nate's new Flightline Corsair. He's doing a range check right now. Sorry for the hat cam view, but that I want to be able to help him if he needs it, so it's going to be hat cam for this flight. Everybody's eating, so we're going to... Is that Kurt? Oh, it is. Kurt's here. Yeah, right. Up, down. Let me see a quick little power test here. Whoa, plenty. You're good. Left. Let's do this thing. Do it. Perfect right now. Alright. I'm anticipating some right rudder torque. So just hold a little bit and be ready for it. Yeah. That little E-Flight Mustang's so bad I'm used to it. And if you roll onto the throttle slowly it shouldn't be bad anyway. Yeah. That's a big prop though. Alright. Go. We go. Pretty good. Good thing you didn't use flaps. A little bit of right aileron. Yeah. Got the gear up. Got the up elevator. Oh, this thing is locked. It's good. Looks really good. Sounds good. Very nice. Oh, this thing is locked. Better than I thought it was going to be. A little pin sensitive, so it might be a little on the tail heavy side with this five. Oh, well, you can just adjust that out though. Yeah, I might probably, I'll probably fly with the six. But yeah, this is an Admiral 5000 all the way forward. The which, which one? What C? The 50. Okay. Woo, looks good. Oh, this thing is long. This thing's like awesome. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Good. The speed is good too. The well, speed's really good. That's far from slow. That looks great. Oh, this thing is locked. I love it already. Doesn't need it. Yeah, oh, only thing I think the gyro would help with is uh, the rudder on takeoff. Yeah. It's a little pinch sensitive, so I think maybe putting a 6,000 will help that. But it cruises nicely at around. 70% throttle. Yep. Those nav lights look nice. It's a good looking plane. I like this. I like that color. I prefer that color and that canopy because it's different. You don't see it all the time. You see the bubbles in the dark blue all the time. Oh, this thing's locked. I love it. Looks good. Yeah, I thought it was going to be too slow for me, but. Nah, not even. I think the elevator needs a little more expo, but. Wide open right there. It doesn't look stupid fast. It looks the it's right wide, speed. Wide open. That looks the right speed, you know? I like it. What size is this? 1600? Yeah. Looks great. So I have no flapped elevator mix, so I'll throw the flaps down and see how it goes. It didn't call for any, right? Um, it might pitch. It might pitch down a little bit, but I doubt it. Oh, there's hands off. Yeah. That's hands off. Just a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if I'd, I'd use them to land though. No, I'll probably, I'll probably use one notch. You've got enough runway, I wouldn't use much. It might help it a little bit. It likes to get, it's getting knocked around a little bit. Barely. But it is, it is thermal out here today. I think if anything, you might just need a little bit of aileron to rudder. Just a little bit. I think that's what a good portion of that bumping around is. See? Just a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, it just reduces your workload if you add it in a mix. 
Yeah, it shouldn't. Yeah, I think it would look better with one. Just barely. It flies amazing though. Really scale. Outside, everybody's eating, it's all you. And the wind is mostly down the runway, so you should be good. Yeah, no, I don't think you need them, yeah. You won't. If you use flaps, it would. Look at that. Perfection. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, that wheel has a lot of authority. Yeah, well, I bumped the rudder. I always bump the rudder throttle for my planes to 150 percent. That was easy. That That's was good. an easy airplane to fly. Good job. Let me take a picture of it so we can use that. Leave it right where it is. I'll take a picture, and then I can use that for. I'll do it from back here. Then I can use that for the for the video. All right, there you go. That looked good. Very impressive. 